So this is my version on how to cook pork roast. This is my backyard. I'm going to cook nine of them. Turn, I'm going to put them on at seven, take them off at seven in the morning. I'm going to light my Brinkman smoker first and then my ugly drum smoker next. This is my cooking area. I'm going to sit out here all night by the pool and down by the lake. And watch these suckers smoke. Should be good tomorrow. See you in a minute. Okay, <clears throat> I got this one going. As you can see, it's on cruise control. This is my Brinkman smoker. And then this is my barrel drum. It also is right on time. Cruise control. log in there, got my coals going. Okay. Now it's time to go get the pork rubbed and get it ready. Okay, what I'm going to do next is spice up my rub, my uh, pork butts. I'm going to put some mustard on there. I like to use a spice, but I'm about out, so I'm going to use a regular. Some mustard on there that holds the rub on real good, and then I'm going to put the rub on. Get ready. The grills are doing good. I'm almost ready. So rub that in good, all the creases. I guess mustard has vinegar in it, breaks down everything, helps the rub do its job. It's a homemade rub I put together. I put it on pretty thick because it cooked down. The way I do it, I, I don't put any on the fat. On the fat cap, I'm, I cook mine in aluminum pans with the fat cap down. The fat cap's like a little protector. It protects the meat. It's real good and tender down by that part. Alright, now I've got them out, got them seasoned up. I'm going to throw them on my drum smoker and go in and do the other ones. So I'm going to put two, I got two racks on here. I'm going to put two on the bottom rack and two on the top rack. So, perfect in there. Take that off in about six hours. All right, now I got my other grill about to start and got them all rubbed down good. I'm gonna put five of them on here. I'm gonna line them up as close as I can. Maybe I can use that. Somehow I'm going to get them on there. All right, see you in a minute. Well, I had a challenge putting them all on here, but I had to bend the pans up a little bit. But you can see, I got five of them on there. I didn't think I was going to make it, but I did. I'll come back in two hours and check them. All right, see you in a couple hours. All right, now it is... 10.30, they've been on for two hours. 
my temperature came up a little bit. I need to knock that down a little bit, make some adjustments. My drum smoker, I don't know if you can see it over here. My drum smoker right there. Temperature is still cruising, 225 since I put it on. Haven't touched it, doing great. This one came up to 275, went down to 180, came 275. So now it's at, uh, I got to get it back down to about 225. But it's time to start moving some of these pork roasts around, or one of them is going to get burnt, and the others are not going to be done. So every two hours I'm moving around a little bit. So check back in a little while. So here they are. Got five of them on there. You can hear them rumbling. You see, these are not boiling too good yet. And these are boiling real good. So I'm move around a little bit so they'll cook evenly. Alright, now they're all covered. The inside temperature is 160, so I'm going to let them cook for another couple hours and check them again. Hopefully it will be up around 175, 180, and I'll take the foil off. Alright, we'll see you next time. Alright, you can see these in the drum smoker. They're looking bad to the bone. They're done too. I just want to get the bark going good on them. So I'm going to cover this back up and let them cook for about another 30 minutes or an hour to get the bark good and crunchy. And then I'm going to pull them off and let them rest. So the only thing bad about the drum smoker that you got to be careful when you take that lid off. Look, you saw how the temperature was? It's already risen. It was at 225, been there for the last 12 hours. Haven't touched it. Haven't put no charcoal. The charcoal still doing good. But you take the lid off for just a second, the temperature went all the way up to 275. If I leave it off for another few minutes, it'll flame up and burn. So just got to be prepared when you take the lid off. Do what you got to do and put the lid right back on real quick. All right, see you in 30 minutes. Okay, 30 minutes have gone by. The interior temperatures are around 200, 205 on each one. You can see the bark has developed awesome. Now I'm taking them out of these pans. You can see I've got five of them here. I still have four on the ugly drum smoker. So I'm taking them out of the pan here with my badge of the bone spatula. And I'm wrapping them, double wrapping them and aluminum foil. I'm going to let them rest for about an hour and then pull them. So, see you in a few minutes. Alright, now I'm almost finished with this recording. I just wanted to show you how the finished product comes out. It's been resting for about an hour now. About that. I want to see how this bone comes out of this pork butt. Check that dog out. Clean as a whistle. Look how easy this comes apart. Effortlessly. Look at that. It's falling apart. Well, I cook these for my supervisor at work and some other people that I work with. So they're on their way to pick them up, so i got to get to pulling. As you can see, i got my hands full. But this was a big success, and I hope this video helps you if you plan to cook some. God bless. That's it. Bye.